Hello everybody, how's it going today? Now usually for most of my videos I have like a challenge or something or you know I'm doing something special but for today's video I don't have any of that. I'm just going to be playing Bed Wars and the point of this video is just to tell you that I'm going to be on vacation for about a week. I'm going to Cancun, Mexico. Well with me, my parents, and my best friend it is going to be a very fun time, all-inclusive resort, sitting there drinking pina coladas and sitting by the pool and by the beach. It's going to be really fun honestly ladies and gentlemen i know i also haven't uploaded in about like a week and a half ish and that was because i was a little bit busy i was working on a school project and i was also watching the call of duty league major four if you do not know i am a big fan of competitive call of duty and yes your dad buddy see you later I'm gonna go quickly break that thanks very much grab his resources and i think it is now over for you okay he just jumps off the map and the tournament was about like four days started on thursday ended on sunday and unfortunately my favorite team toronto ultra did not win they got fourth they end up getting upset first game to lag which is like one of the lowest rated teams and i was so surprised that they got upset to them i was like what the hell is going on that was kind of foreshadowing them not having the best event but then they make a big losers bracket run make it all the way to championship sunday and then they get 3-0'd by new york subliners and uh, that, that was kind of pain honestly ladies and gentlemen that was really pain watching that because this team is really good they've won an event before and oh my god i just bought the wrong thing i bought an axe instead of a pickaxe that that is just okay that's pain but i thought for sure they were going to be able to maybe make it to like a championship final you know but unfortunately that was not the case they didn't end up making it and you know what oh you have a diamond sword i want that diamond sword please give me that diamond sword please give me that don't jump off the map it just really wasn't that great of a weekend for Toronto Ultra, honestly. Like, they could have definitely played better. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. What everybody's preparing for is COD Champs. And COD Champs is the next event. The final event of the year before, like, we wait for the new game and everything. And everybody switches to that. And everybody starts playing that. So I'm very excited. I hope they win Champs because I've seen them get to Champs Grand Finals before. And unfortunately, they never actually ended up winning them both times. They got second both times. The worst one was last year when they got 5-0'd by New York Subliners. Very similar team except for one player, and I think that's a win. Yep, there we go. Even though they did end up getting 5-0'd, I, I have faith in uh, I have faith in, in Toronto for winning the event this year. Because each one of the top four teams in the game actually won an event this year. So, like, if you don't watch competitive COD, there's pretty much four top teams. There's Atlanta FaZe, Optic Texas, Toronto Ultra, and New York Subliners. And each one of them this year have won an event, which is kind of crazy to think about that each one of them is good enough to basically beat everybody else and you know it all comes down to champs on like who's gonna play the best during that event and i'm hoping toronto wins it because they are due for a champs win because they've gotten second so many times and had so many heartbreaking defeats getting sweeped in grand finals and you know what it's their time it's their time to get it done and i do have a no side rush unfortunately so i might as well just wait here to get myself maybe some better armor and stuff maybe go to mid actually that might be best i'm not really a fan of this map it's actually one of my least favorite maps to play mainly because it's just awkward to build anywhere and like the islands are kind of awkward to fight on like this whole map is just awkward all right i got 10 emeralds i think that is plenty enough but cod champs is going to be hosted in texas by optic and if you don't know optic is basically like the top org like the most popular one like the the default org i guess i, I call it the default org and that's mainly because it's just like it's the most popular one it's the one that like everybody like knows and it's like the same option but they're hosting champs and it's going to be amazing because like when they're hosting champs it's going to be packed everybody's going to show up you know they're going to have like a center stage and stuff this event which is like never been done before so like if you don't know what a center stage is it's like instead of like watching a like a stage like if you're watching like a school you know like your school has stages right and like everybody's kind of sitting in front of it a center stage is imagine having the play go on like in the middle and that is something i am fully prepared for that is going to be amazing to watch like everybody's gonna be like sitting around what what are you doing like what what are you what are you doing you've been doing nothing this entire game i'm honestly so excited again i really hope toronto ultra wins it but it's going to be tough because all the top four teams in the game have shown promise except for optic right now Optic went from winning Major 3 to literally going like 0-12 in qualifiers and getting dead last in the next Major. Like, I I've never seen a fall off of a team in this bad. Like, like, it is actually kind of insane. Like, I was not expecting anything like this. Hello, hello, guys. How's it going? Can I kill you? Thank you very much. And I need to kill you as well. 
please die. Thank you very much. And now I just gotta go for this guy. Hello. I have a diamond sword, so we can trade hits all you want. You're not going to kill me. Gonna quickly go ahead and break this, and then break that. And he's gonna buy another sword. No, he's not. He's running. He's running away. I don't actually mind the running. As long as you don't buy a sword, it's good for me. Please stop running. It is over for you. Thank you. There we go. I know I've been just kind of rambling on, and you all probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but honestly, you should check out the COD League, okay? It's it's fun to watch, all right? It basically happens, like, every single weekend, except for, like, you know, it's ending soon, so you have to wait till the next game, but still, check out the clips and stuff. It's fun. Oh, can I even make this jump? Oh, I did make it. Okay. Ooh, I was prepared to just chuck my diamonds. I'm actually curious. Do you guys watch any esports? If you do, tell me what esport you watch in the comments below. I'm actually very curious like the top ones i would say are probably like valorant or maybe cs hello buddy you're dead and your bed is now mine gonna go ahead and take that and now you can try to punch me all you want it is not going to work out for you while i'm on vacation i might take some pictures of like the place i'm staying at and like post it in the video when i get back just to sort of give you an idea of where i'm staying i don't want to post where i'm staying before i go just in case somebody somehow is stalking me and is gonna like send an assassin to go and find me or something or maybe one of you guys are like a part of the cartel or something and the cartel is gonna shake me down for money that i don't have all right hello red your bed is broken you just respawned how's it going yeah it's very unfortunate you died and then it's over for you but you know that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes and now we got you hello there buddy i'm just gonna go right over your head thank you very much um excuse me i don't know what you were looking at i was not even there maybe i was lagging a little bit but uh your bed is now broken i'm gonna quickly grab this and you actually respawned extremely quickly. All right, who's next? We got Green over here. Okay, Mr. Green, it is time for you to die. Oh, he has a diamond sword. That is not going to be great. I'm going to quickly sneak around and break your bed. There we go. Okay, he's coming back. Hello, buddy. How is it going? Off the map. Off. There we go. Okay. It looks like we got blue and we got orange being the last people alive over here. And they're just kind of having a good time smacking each other. Like, none of them really know how to PvP or, like, aim very well. Um, except this guy. Now he somehow can aim. Okay. Please. There we go. All right. Uh, gonna quickly eat this. I'm gonna go for you because that was actually kind of... No. No. Stop. Oh, thank you for doing that. Really appreciate it. You're gonna respawn? Yes, you are. And I hate spawn protection for this exact reason. I wanna chase this guy. I want the final kill. No, stop it. Stop. Are you kidding me? He killed him. Are you joking? Are you are you serious, man? Like, stealing my final kill like that? This guy just respawned instantly. How did he respawn instantly? Like, I swear, man. People are just re respawning a lot quicker than I'm expecting them to respawn. Oh, he has deep slight. Oh, okay. Um, We're just gonna have to kill you again. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to kill you a second time over, or a third time, actually. All right. Please go off the map. Thank you. And now your bed is mine. And are you gonna respawn? Yes. Hello, buddy. How's it going? I hate spawn protection. Please die. Thank you very much. It should be over for you. Okay, well, there we go. GG's. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna be on vacation for a week. Watch the Call of Duty League. It's fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a week's time.